Hey guys, it's Nick and today we're checking out this 2023 Range Rover SV long wheelbase. All right, starting off in the front, got that beautiful grill, beautiful headlights. This is Santorini black. Those beautiful Range Rover letterings there. It's got the SV wheels. These are 285 4023s. It's got the black Brembo brake package on it. It's got the deployable side steps, little SV marking there. And this thing's massive. That rear door is giant. SV badging on the back. This one's got the tow package. But yeah, it's a beautiful exterior and interior. We'll get into that next. All right, hopping into the driver's side. If you open the door, you can see that deployable come out. Pretty sweet. Driver door. You got all your seat controls, memory, window switches, your mirrors, child lock. There's your door handle, lock and unlock. This does have the Meridian signature sound system in it. These seats are probably the comfiest thing I've ever sat in. It's all perforated down that center. It does have heated and cooled seats. On the left side of the steering wheel, all you have is your uh, trunk release. And hopping in here, you've got that beautiful steering wheel, all digital dash, media controls on the left, cruise control and heated steering wheel on the right. You do have the paddle shifters. It's gonna be all your lights and blinkers, windshield wipers. This one's only got 3,000 miles on it. It does have the heads up display as well. Kind of see it flickering there. It's not flickering in real life, it's just the camera doing that. It does also have the clear sight rear view mirror. And then if you flip that switch, it just goes to a regular mirror. Pretty sweet. Got the giant display here in the center, climate control right below it. And then it's interesting, you push these and turn it to the left for cooled seat, turn it to the right for heated seats. So that's pretty sweet. And then you do have a wireless charging pad in there with your USB-C, shifter, start stop button, your volume knob, and then your different drive modes. Sorry, got a few things in here, but there's your cup holder. And you do have storage below it with a few more plugs. Another USB-C and USB-A port. Pretty sweet. This does have the two glove boxes. So you got the one up top and the one down below. And then center console, you've got the little fridge. One thing I really like about this interior is going to be this headliner. It's all leather. All throughout besides the uh, shade for the sunroof. And then you have the sunroof controls right here in the center. And yeah, we'll hop into the back seat. It's pretty luxurious back there. This is a four seater. But before we do that, here's the window sticker on this one. So check this out. Santorini Black with Ebony. It's got the 4.4 liter V8, 523 horsepower, 553 foot-pounds of torque, eight-speed automatic trans, and then all the SV upgrades there. Base price is 226. This one with all the options and everything, you're looking at 263.5. This does get 18 miles per gallon combined, 16 in the city, 21 on the highway. So it's not horrible. Yeah. I mean, if you're purchasing this, I don't think you really care about MPG, but let's hop into the back seat and I'll show you all the cool features back there. All right, and hopping into the back, this door is massive. I'd say it's at least four and a half feet. It's pretty massive, sticks out quite a bit when you have it open all the way. You do have rear seat controls here, your window control, you have the automatic shades, your reading lights, and you can also control the uh, sunroof shade from there. Door handle, just like the front door lock and unlock and there's another meridian surround or meridian signature sorry 
And then this one does have the rear seat entertainment package. As you can see here. It does have another speaker in the seat. And like I said before, it's a four seater configuration. You do get these pretty sweet SV pillows. And it's pretty massive back here. I mean, I'm only 5'8", I was driving it, and I've got, I'd say a good 14, 15 inches from my knee to the back of that seat. And it's super comfy back here. You do have vents up high. And then in the center here, this looks kind of interesting because you got all these kind of cuts in here. But through the screen here, if I hit this, that looks like a little cup. It'll reveal the cup holder and bring that up for you. And then on the right side, you see this little thing, it looks like a tray table. Click that. Check that out. And then you pull this towards you. You flip each side open, and this is all leather as well. And you can turn it, set your laptop there, get some work done. Pretty sweet. When you're done with work, you close that up, straighten that out, push it forward, and you hit that button. Oh. Wasn't it all the way? There we go. And it just hides away like it was never there. Just like the cup holders. It's crazy. And then in the center console here, you've got two levels to it. So your first level is going to be a wireless phone charger. Second level is the storage. And you do get a few USB-C ports, a couple HDMI ports for the screens, a domestic plug, and then a cigarette plug there. And these screens are the same size as the one up front. All touchscreen. One more thing on the screen here. Let's see, if you go to home, it's got a fridge. So you click that click open and right there in the center that opens up so you can have your champagne in there and close it back up and it just disappears and then another sweet feature on the door here see a little yellow arrow so if you click that once it'll put both or the right if you do both it'll basically bring down both your sunshades And then if you have it clicked on both as well, you can bring down both windows at the same time. And then the button above that, reading light, laptop light, and then that's gonna be for the sunroof shade. So you click that and it opens that panoramic sunroof up. Pretty sweet. Yeah, let's see what the storage space is like in the back. All right, checking out the trunk space. Pretty decent size, plenty of room back here. Pretty interesting, this privacy cover is actually automatic. So you hit that button there, and it automatically retracts for you. you don't see that in many Range Rovers, but on a one wheelbase SV you do. And then you do also get the tailgate, the push of a button, that comes down. And there's plenty of space back here. You could fit luggage, golf clubs, fit plenty of things back here. One interesting thing I found in all the accessories back here, this little box actually has your two glasses for the fridge. And look at that, they're logoed with the SB there. It's pretty sweet. And then you got a few more pillows back here, extra mats, headsets for the rear screens. And then when you go to close this clamshell, hit that button, it'll bring the tailgate up and close it all up. All right, and just how I mentioned earlier, this one's got the 4.4 liter V8, making 523 horsepower, 553 foot-pounds of torque, and it's mated to an eight-speed automatic transmission. Plenty of power to move this thing around. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please like and subscribe as well.